Hello, it's Mrs. Dizeal, and I'm going to read A Bargain for Francis by Russell Hoban. Pictures by Lillian Hoban. Here's the dedication for Phoebe, Brom, Emmy, and Julia. Francis is a little badger. You might have to look up what a badger is. It was a fine summer day, and after breakfast, Francis said, I'm going to play with Alma. Be careful, said Mother. Why do I have to be careful, said Francis. Remember the last time, said Mother. Which time was that, said Francis. That was the time you played catch with Thelma's new boomerang, said Mother. Thelma did all the throwing, and you came home with lumps on your head. Oh, I remember that time now, said Francis. And you remember the other time last winter, said Mother. I remember that time too, said Francis. That was the first time there was ice on the pond and Thelma wanted to go skating and she told me to try the ice first. Who came home wet, said Mother? You or Thelma? I came home wet, said Francis. Yes, said Mother. That is why I say be careful because when you play with Thelma, you always get the worst of it. Well, said Francis, this time I don't have to be careful. We are not playing with boomerangs, we are not skating, we are having a tea party, and we are making a mud cake. Be careful anyhow, said Mother. All right, said Frances. Frances took her dolls to Thelma's house. She took her alligator doll, she took her elephant doll, she took her snake doll, and she took her teddy bear too. As Frances walked to Thelma's house, she sang, Alligators, bears, and me are very fond of drinking tea. The elephant and the wiggly snake are happy when they eat their cake. Francis and Thelma made a mud cake. They put daisies on it for frosting, and then Thelma got out her dolls to set, and her tea set. I'm saving up for a tea set for Francis. I'm saving all my allowances. This is the best kind to get, said Thelma. It's plastic and it has red flowers on it. That's not the kind I want, said Francis. I want the real china tea set with pictures on it in blue. The tea set I want has trees and birds and a Chinese house and a fence and a boat and people walking on a bridge. I used to have that kind of tea set, but all I have now is the part of the teapot. The rest is all broken. That is why that kind of tea set is no good, said Thelma. The cups break and the saucers break and the teapot and the cream pitcher and the sugar bowls break. And then the set is all gone. My tea set has red flowers and it does not break unless you step on it. Well, said Francis, I'm saving up for the other kind. How much have you saved up for? Said Thelma. Two dollars and 17 cents, said Francis. How much does the tea set cost? said Thelma. I don't know, said Francis. I am sure they cost a lot, said Thelma. It will take you a long time to save up all that money. I know, said Francis, and I wish I had a tea set now. Maybe I'll sell you mine, said Thelma. And I want yours, said Francis. I want a real china one with pictures on it in blue. they make them anymore, said Thelma. I know another girl who saved up for their tea set. Her mother went to every store and could not find one. Then that girl lost some of her money and she spent the best of it on candy. She never got the tea set. That is what happens. A lot of girls never do get tea sets. So maybe you won't get one. If I buy yours, I will. I will have a tea set, said Frances. You said you didn't want to, said Thelma, and anyhow, I don't want to sell it now. Why not, said Francis. Well, said Thelma, it is a very good tea set. It is plastic that does not break. It has pretty red flowers on it. It has all the cups and saucers. It has a sugar bowl and the cream pitcher and the teapot. It's almost new, and I think it costs a lot of money. I have $2.17, said Francis. That's a lot of money. I don't know, said Thelma. If I sell you my tea set, then I won't have one anymore. 
We can have tea parties at my house then, said Francis, and you can use your money for a new doll. Well, maybe, said Thelma. Do you have your money with you? I'll run home and get it, said Francis. All right, said Thelma. I will think about it while you run home for your money. Francis ran home for her money, and when she came back, Thelma said, I will sell you my tea set. Francis gave Thelma her money, and Thelma gave Francis her tea set. No backsies on this, said Thelma. All right, said Francis, no backsies. Francis went home with her tea set and her dolls, and she sang, A plastic pot can pour the tea for dolls and friends and me, just as well as China. Red is just as good as blue. Plastic cups are all right too. Just as good as China. When Frances got home, she showed the tea set to her little sister, Gloria. That is a very ugly tea set, said Gloria. What's the matter with it, said Frances. It's ugly, said Gloria. It's a nice tea set, said Frances. It's plastic, said Gloria. It has red flowers. It's ugly. I like the china kind with the pictures all in blue. You can't get that kind anymore, said Francis. They don't have them in the stores. Yes, they do, said Gloria. They have them now at the candy store. My friend Ida got one yesterday, and she showed it to Thelma. So Thelma knows that they have them in the candy store. They cost two dollars and seven cents. Frances walked slowly to the candy store. She looked inside, and there was Thelma. Thelma gave the storekeeper her money, and the storekeeper gave Thelma the china set with pictures all in blue. Thelma did not see Frances as Frances walked away. Frances sang a little song as she walked away. Now that plastic's what I've got. Backsies are what there is not. Mother told me to be careful, but Thelma better be be wearful. Frances thought about no backsies all the way home. When she got home, she put a penny in the plastic sugar bowl of her tea set. Then she called Thelma on the telephone. Hello, said Thelma. Hello, said Frances. This is Frances. Remember, said Thelma, no backsies. I remember, said Frances. But are you sure you really want no backsies? Sure, I'm sure, said Thelma. You mean I never have to give back the tea set, said Francis? That's right, said Thelma. You can keep the tea set. Can I keep what's in the sugar bowl too, said Francis? What is in the sugar bowl, said Thelma. Never mind, said Francis. No backsies. Goodbye. And Francis hung up. Frances waited for the telephone to ring, and when it rang, she said, Hello. Hello, said Thelma. This is Thelma. I know, said Frances. I just remembered, said Thelma. I think I had something in the sugar bowl. I think it was a ring. Did you find a ring? No, said Frances. And I don't have to tell you what's in the sugar bowl because you said no backsies. Well, said Thelma, I just remembered that I put some money in the sugar bowl at one time. I think... It was some birthday money. I think it was two dollars, or maybe it was five dollars. Did you find money? You said no backsy, said Francis, so I don't have to tell you. I don't have to say how much money was in the sugar bowl. Well, said Thelma, it is my money and I want it. Do you want backsy, said Francis? Do you want your tea set back? And will you give me my money back? I can't, said Thelma, because I used the money for a new tea set. There's only a dime left over. I will give you the new tea set and the dime. The new tea set is the china kind that you want, and it has pictures all in blue. You said you didn't, they didn't make that kind anymore, said Francis. Oh, this one was very hard to find, said Thelma, and I think it was the very last one in the store. All right, said Francis. Bring it over. Thelma brought over the china tea set and the dime, and Francis gave back the plastic tea set. Then Thelma looked, took the lid off the sugar bowl and saw the penny. 
That is not a very nice trick to play on a friend, said Thelma. No, said Francis, it is not. And that was not a nice trick that you played on me when you sold me your tea set. Well, said Thelma, from now on, I will have to be careful when I play with you. Being careful is not as much fun as being friends, said Francis. Do you want to be careful or do you want to be friends? I want to be friends, said Thelma. All right, said Francis. Then I will give you half season the dime. Francis and Thelma went to the candy store with the dime. Francis bought bubble gum and Thelma bought lifesavers. Then they went back to Francis' house to skip rope. Gloria came out to turn the rope and skip too. You and Gloria can skip first, said Francis to Thelma. I will go last. Thelma skipped first, and then Gloria, and then Francis skipped, and she sang, one for plastic, two for china, three for yours and four for mine, five for tea and six for cakes, seven for elephants, eight for snakes, nine's a trip to the candy store, then ten and ten skips more. Back sees one, back sees two, back sees are no fun to do. Careful once, careful twice, being careful isn't nice. Being friends is better. Then Francis and Thelma shared their bubble gum and lifesavers with Gloria. The end.